Hail, Scott here, and this is bad. Real bad. Hey, what's the matter, pussy friend? You're gonna get murdered. Oh, no, 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 it's... I can't be here. It's not safe. Things are different now. You see, it's really hard to do a whole living in peace thing these days. That's why I formed a team of ragdag good doers in this world of anarchy. I even came up with the team name, too. We're f***. It all started on March 26, 2018, when the Wii Shop channel disabled the addition of Wii Points. The entire shop's about to close down, and recently, the public's went insane because of it. And being one of the few people with a Wii filled to the brim with WiiWare titles, I'm a bit of a hot ticket item these days, aka people want me dead. Things weren't like this a year ago. Man, it sure is great buying stuff on the Wii Shop channel. Hopefully the closure of the service doesn't lead to a post-apocalyptic hellscape. Consumerism never sounded this good. The Wii Shop channel was one of the greatest features of the Nintendo Wii in its prime. It was simultaneously behind and ahead of the competition. It didn't have an account system, meaning everything you bought was locked to your console. But the competition simply didn't have the quantity and quality when it came to retro titles. Plus, they didn't have this. No matter how many times I booted up this channel, its music abruptly starting as loud as it does was definitely petrify inducing, but the tune was so slick, it automatically makes anybody want to spend, spend, spend. Speaking of currency, the Wii Shop channel used Wii Points, also known as Virgin Doubloons. 100 Wii Points equaled 1 US dollar. For some reason, game consoles this generation really had a thing for real fake currency. At least Nintendo's conversion rate made sense. The Xbox 360 used to use Microsoft Points, and 800 Points equaled 10 bucks, and let me tell you, I'm still trying to figure that one out. Downloading something was always a hoot. Other systems just gave you a lame progress bar. The Wii says, who likes Mario or Luigi running across the screen? And hey, sometimes you can spit fireballs by pressing A. Such a Nintendo thing to do to make a download screen fun. Three categories of downloadables here. Virtual Console, The Shop's Pride and Joy. One of the best collections of retro games out there. Not only did you get NES, SNES, and N64 games, but Sega Master System and Genesis, TurboGrafx-16, Neo Geo, Commodore 64 arcade games. If you wanted a crash course in gaming history, the Wii Virtual Console wasn't a bad place to start. Most of the games were in their original form, while some featured additions and tweaks. Pokemon Snap allowed you to save pictures to your system, Sonic and Knuckles allowed you to lock on to other Sonic games, and for some reason the Genesis version of Super Street Fighter 2 had online play added. No other version of Street Fighter 2 on the Wii Shop had this, and of all versions to add it to, well, this was a surprise to put it lightly. And doesn't work these days, nights ruined. Wii channels were also offered, being applications ranging from voting channels, Mii contests, Netflix, the works. But we'll be focusing on WiiWare, the term used to describe original downloadable titles made for the Wii. And let me tell you, some of these bad boys are definitely interesting. The beginning of the end of the Wii's online commenced on June 28th, 2013, with the discontinuation of Wii Connect 24, the service enabling you to send messages to friends and whatnot. The Nintendo Wi-Fi connection for the Wii and DS ended on May 20th, 2014, meaning online multiplayer was shut down for games that used the service. But throughout it all, the Wii Shop channel stayed afloat until March 26th, 2018, when you can no longer add Wii points to your account. You can still buy stuff until January 30th, 2019, as long as you still have points, and you can still re-download titles. But after that, the service will be donezo. With that, I think it's a good time to start a journey. I have dozens upon dozens of WiiWare games downloaded, ready to go. So let's take a look at a hodgepodge of WiiWare games, starting with... Dr. Mario Online RX, the long-awaited return of the classic puzzle series. Dr. Mario is pretty simple, line up similarly colored pills with the viruses on the board. Eliminating a virus can make stacked pills fall, and if you eliminate viruses with those pills, you can rack up the points. It's such a simple, fun puzzle game, definitely something to zone out to completely and play for either a few minutes or a few hours. It can get wackily addicting and wackily difficult as well, so this is what hell looks like. That's just the standard Dr. Mario gameplay. We also have another mode titled Virus Buster. 
It's a much, much slower paced version of Dr. Mario where you use your Wii Remote pointer to drag the pills down. It's fine, but not as fun as pure Dr. Mario. The main selling point of this version at the time was the online play, which worked well back in the day. Now we have a few new versions of Dr. Mario, like Dr. Luigi on Wii U and Dr. Mario Miracle Cure on the 3DS. These two are literally the same thing as Online RX and then some, so there's really no reason to go back to this one. Regardless, it's still Dr. Mario and still a solid time. Oh hell yeah! Apparently we were launched on March 25th, 2008, but that's just a misconception, really a launch with the release of fire placing. I always felt that the Wii was lacking burning logs, and fire placing did wonders to the burning logs market. Well that's about it for what I have to say, so on to the next son of a bitch I bought another one. Cozy Fire, the fire place genre grows and grows. This one has a dollop of interactivity, like, wow, it's like I'm really regurgitating logs into a fireplace. We even have some extra places to watch a placed fire. This is getting too nuts for me, I better scram. Grill Off with Ultra Hand. It was only a matter of time until a game with this title came out. Grill Off was only available via Club Nintendo, Nintendo's old loyalty rewards program. It was one of the cheapest rewards you could get, so if you never picked it up, congratulations, you don't understand the concept of good deal for a subpar game. It's based around the Ultra Hand, an old toy Nintendo used to make that was basically just a grabber device for kids invented by the late great Gunpei Yokoi. Grill Off with Ultra Hand is a high score based game where you grill off with Ultra Hand. Pulling the Wii Remote and Nunchuck towards you and back out extends Ultra Hand you must grab meat when it's cooked to perfection and bring it back to a plate without dropping it or letting it burn. And that's it. It was a cute little reward for Club Nintendo members, but as a game on its own, the controls are kind of awkward and there's really not much there. While we're on the subject of Club Nintendo rewards, Doc Lewis's Punch-Out, definitely one of the coolest exclusive games you could get through the rewards program. Again, there's not much to it, it's beatable in less than 20 minutes, but this was a free reward for Platinum members, those who bought enough Nintendo products in 2009. It's a prequel to Punch-Out on Wii, where Little Mac trains with his coach Doc Lewis. Like I said, there's not a ton here, basically it's just fighting Doc, and it's not even that difficult, Doc tells you exactly what you need to do to beat him. As a game, it's nothing special. As a Punch-Out fan, it's a really awesome little time. I love Doc, so it's great to be able to fight him, and even when you knock him out, you can feel the connection he and Little Mac have. Also, nice. Yes, a WiiWare staple. Sexy Poker is a competent replacement for any form of intercourse. A game for the rest of us. Checking out the gallery, we can see some slick pics of the girls we're about to play poker against. The game also lets out a Hello! If you don't do anything for a certain amount of time, making sure you're not just staring at the screen absolutely dumbfounded that we are potentially going to see a sexy poker. Here we're introduced to Sakura, everybody's favorite nurse. I wonder why. If we impress her, she might give us her special treatment. Thank God, this scoliosis is a bitch. We can see here she's in prime poker playing position. I start pumping through a poker game with her and bada bing bada boom we get the goods. Looks like I have to remove some clothes. Oh. F yeah. If we win the whole game, a jip is triggered. What? What is this? How is this M-rated? This is E10 plus at the worst. I'd say this is a great poker game. If you don't like the sexy, thankfully the girls are in the dead center of the screen. Easy blockage can ensue. Five arcade gems, and ah, my two favorite things, arcs and aids. There's only one true thing about that title, and it's five. They called them arcade gems just to get away with the lame length, like there's nothing to these games. They're just high score based mini games. The only game that would even be close to being considered an arcade game would be this shooter, but even then, this one is just boring and lame. We have some grade A voice work employed in these games though. <laughs> My ears have been dying to hear that. Every minigame compilation needs to have a bit of lumberjack in there, and thankfully we have this gnome thing acting like he's talk of the town and telling everybody to throw axes in his direction. Pizza delivery squandered by natives, I've been there. Night shit. This RC car minigame froze after one round, that's all I can say about that one. This is gross, and you'd think it would only be about five bucks, which is still overpriced. No, it was seven. Huh. WarioWare DIY Showcase. I love me some WarioWare, and DIY Showcase, while it's more so a complimentary title, can still be fully enjoyed as a WarioWare game. WarioWare DIY was released for the Nintendo DS, and its main hook was the fact that you can make your own micro games. If you don't know, WarioWare is a series based around five second micro games where you have to figure out how to succeed before the time runs out, and then you move on to the next game. It's fast paced, crazy fun, and I adore it for that. So the idea of making your own micro game was awesome to me back in the day. 
I can't really play it now because honestly it takes a while to relearn the game creation tools. It's nowhere near as simple as Super Mario Maker, but was simple enough for a 12 year old Scott to figure it out. You could also make your own music and comics, but I really only cared about the games. Showcase is a way for Wii owners to play their DIY creations on the big screen. Thankfully I transferred all my games from back in the day and wow, what a resume builder. After connecting online you could play micro games from people all over the land, but Nintendo Wi-Fi connection is dead. Yikes. Nintendo included some of their own micro game creations here so you can still play this as a standard WarioWare game. These micro games are much simpler than other titles in the series, and rightfully so since they were all made with DIY's game creator. They were also made to be played with the DS touchscreen, so the only thing you're going to be doing here is pointing at the screen and clicking A. It's an incredibly simple yet fun time, but it was much cooler back when it was relevant and when the Wi-Fi connection was alive and well. My Aquarium 2, a virtual aquarium in a single Nintendo Wii. 2010 was crazy. In terms of my own aquarium, I'm a single rock kind of guy personally. I do have to say, the default carnival music that plays here really makes me feel like I'm actually staring at a real life fish, it's insane. Shaking the Wii remote simulates tapping the glass and rather than discouraging the player from doing that, the fish give a solid shake back. Thankfully, all is saved as we can share our aquarium to friends. Damn it! Excite Bike World Rally, a triumphant revival of the Excite Bike series developed by Monster Games, who made Excite Truck and Excite Bots. This is the first entry in the Excite series they developed that went back to the roots of the franchise and proves that Excite Bike can work really well in the modern era. If you played Excite Bike on the NES, Road Rally is basically the same, but obviously with an upgrade to the graphics and sound department, more to do, and online play originally. You have to perform jumps, avoid other riders, make sure you don't overheat, and make it to the finish line all while making great time. It's a fun game, and while the production values on the game are far from high, it's passable, this is Excite Bike, and it's a WiiWare game. You can edit tracks just like the first game, and holy cannoli, you can actually save them! I quite enjoy World Rally, and wouldn't mind seeing another Excite Bike game like this. The moment everybody's been waiting for, my coverage of Let's Create Pottery, the only pottery-based game with an email inbox, and an auction mechanic, and a heartfelt message from the developers. For what it is, a pottery creation simulator. It does the job. You have loads of options to unlock, and you can make a wide array of pottery. Here I made an ashtray, and here I made a Chinese finger trap. Enjoy your massage. Yep, you read that right. It's not a title, it's a command. As we can see here, I'm the protagonist, Nipple. And this game has already given me the heebie-jeebies. The selections won't stop growing, and Christ Jesus, the people won't stop growing either. As you could have easily predicted, Enjoy Your Massage is a hybrid between Simon and Tic-Tac-Toe. Repeat the beat on these markings, just begging for a WebMD search. Repeat it successfully enough times, and bam, the client happily goes about their day via a static image that makes you triumphantly think, yup. I did that. Man, these clients. Nice back usage, guys. We have such a varied list of clients. For example, Inus has a backache and Alice's back hurts. After defeating any and all clients, you're tasked with the final boss, your boss, Gazelle. Your reward? You take over the business after only 45 minutes of playing. Well, that was a nice mishmash of WiiWare titles, but don't worry, we have loads more to cover soon. And doing so will allow the Wii Shop channel to end gracefully, everybody will cherish their memories, and people will move on. Man, what I would give to be March 2018, Scott, again. But hey, who knows, maybe things have cleared up in the past 12 minutes.